going for it there. I can't wait till I can jump in the pool, but let me tell you, it's not happening anytime soon with the way the weather's looking. No. Will your dog <laughs> get in the pool? Probably not. She's not, she's I can not the to best that. swimmer. She got a shower afterwards. Yeah, it's like a huge commitment. It's a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what tough lives we lead. But yeah, it's not, we're not getting there anytime in the near future quite yet. It's not the nicest right now, but temperatures really aren't too bad. They're pretty normal. This is going to continue to cool off a few more degrees here, getting down to around 50, give or take a few by the time we get to your low temperature tomorrow morning. But in the mid 50s right now, not too bad out there. The big thing we've seen and we've continued over the past few days, which is ruining any chances for pools, is just going to be the clouds and the rain. We've had some rain showers across the state all day long. They've since started to calm down a bit more and break up, but Southern Maine got out of most of it today. Going to see a few showers or just some sprinkles here now, but nothing too dramatic. This is all because of this low that's just continuing to sit over the area. As it does, it's just bringing that moisture in and giving us those showers that we've had. It's going to continue for the next few days here, but as we get closer to the weekend, we're going to notice this high pressure that's going to be off in the Midwest, slowly starting to make its way towards us. As that does, it's going to give us a slightly better weekend in the forecast. Not perfect back to this week, like three weeks of sun that we had, but we're going to start to get better weather in the forecast here. We're just we're not quite there yet. Rain showers to start off tomorrow morning. Again, pretty broken up and scattered. Not really seeing much. We're not looking at a lot of rainfall overall. Just the chance kind of persists here as we move through that time. Continuing in the afternoon, and we're going to start to get into a pattern where the afternoon is where we can expect a better chance of rain. Same general story on Thursday. Many not seeing a thing as you start off your morning. Maybe just a little bit of mist here and there and then just a few showers Thursday afternoon. Nothing major. If you want to keep that story going, we can look at your day on Friday. We're at the same general forecast, but our chance for rain there as we get into the second half of your day. Other than all that, like I said, let's look at those rain totals. Not really that much overall, so we're not expecting anything really to be problematic. The highest totals are going to be off to our north where we could see more rainfall. But along the coastline and most of the state inland, really not even getting to an inch here as we move through the next few days. The good news with all of this is that we actually are going to have very low for the pollen right now. It's not been this low since before the rain, but it will continue to stay this way. So if you have allergies, this is a great time for that. Otherwise, as we look at your marine forecast, seas are at two to three feet. Winds out of the northwest around 10 to 20 knots. Going to still be a little bit breezy on land, too, with gusts up to about 20 miles an hour. Shouldn't see as much of that haze from the wildfire fire smoke as we go through the next couple of days because it will kind of get pushed aside as this low moves just a little bit closer to the area. And temperatures as we get into your weekend, it starts to get a bit better. We should start to see some sunshine on Sunday and Monday as temperatures warm back up into the 70s. So going to be a bit better as we get there, but we still have several days of rain back in the forecast before we get any sunshine to talk about. So it is what it is. It is what it is. We have <laughs> three weeks of really great weather. We're just kind of paying for it and yeah. watering all the plants. Yeah, and we'll get back to it. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Aaron.